Just a reminder that these videos are made for adult doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello, Internet! My name is Kelsey, and welcome back to my closet. Sad to say, it seems like LOL OMG and the LOL tweens are kind of being slowly and quietly phased out by MGA. MGA has even now transitioned their online store from LOL Surprise dot com to MGA store dot com or something like that. Something generic that covers all of MGA's products, which makes more sense, but also because they seem like they're trying to get away from the LOL branding, which is sad because I know a lot of people really love OMG and tweens, and I was a big fan of the tweens especially. The last line of tweens that they came out with, I wasn't really looking at any of them at first and being like, oh, I really, really love that one, because usually one of the tweens will always jump right out at me and be like, buy me, buy me, and I'm like, yes. But that didn't happen this time. However, as I continued to go down the doll aisle for other reasons and look around, I kept running into Cassie Cool from, uh, it doesn't say what series this is, but the last series, I'm assuming, of the LOL tweens because we have not heard any news about them or seen any leaks or anything. I'm thinking that this is the end and it's, again, it's sad because the tweens were just so cute. But the more I saw her, I mean, it could be because she's purple. She kept catching my eye as I would walk by, but she's also just really cute. I love her little puffball hair and the curlies in the front and everything. and. I like the gold accessories too because I think purple and gold is just such a pretty combination. So I figured, why not? I mean, this might be the last time that I get to buy a tweens doll. Plus, I feel like I have not really seen anybody talk about any of these four characters. So I'm gonna give the tweens one last little bit of love before they go softly into that great night. Or whatever the quote is. <laughs> anyway, so let's look at the packaging. The OMG and tweens packaging has become more and more open concept over time. And everything is just displayed right there. There's no surprise elements anymore. Even though it says 10 surprises, everything is visible right here. So what's the surprise? We do have some really cute artwork up here down here. And she says, let's hang out, which they all do says Cassie Cool. That's her little sister. There's her name on the back. And here are all four characters. So we had Cassie. We also had Hannah Groove, Ellie Fly, and Flora Moon. And you would think with a name like Flora Moon that I would have been more into her, but I just could not get into her. I don't know why. I feel like in a lot of the designs for the other three characters, there's not as much cohesion. Like, GoMG and the tweens have always been very bold and very loud about their styles, but this is getting to the point of Barbie extra levels where they were just throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. I'm not, I'm not really into the other characters, but Cassie grew on me. So down at the bottom here, it says, I'm in between, but right where I want to be full of surprises and unique style. Look out world, cause here I come. I don't think they've updated that since they first came out with the tweens. Box done, let's open. I just wanted to point out before we look at her that she has a poster in the background of the Supersonics from the music themed line from a couple years ago. Remix, yes, Remix was like, the peak of OMG. Not that they didn't have some good stuff after that, but still. Whoa! Oh my god! I had no idea they got rid of the wrist articulation! I'm like moving her arm around to try to change her wrist and everything, and yeah, look, the joint is gone! Dare I say, OMG. Anyway, Cassie is out of the box. So let's look at her from top to bottom. I am not as 
deeply offended by the lack of a wrist joint on the tweens as I am for Rainbow High because these hands are super duper tiny in the first place and so they're also very delicate. So I can understand it a little bit more. Here is Cassie's little face. The tween face is just so adorable with the little overbite and everything. She is super cute. I went through probably like seven or eight Cassie's to look and make sure I got one with a good face. All of the printing was off except for hers. Love her little bouncy curls framing her face. She's got two dark purple puffs on the top of her head. There's like maybe a hint of gel just to keep the curl, but it's fine because it's not a style that needs to be washed out or anything. And then again, we have the little side tendrils. She has painted and glittery edges at the top, black eyebrows, and then her makeup, which you can't see so much with the little curls, but it is really pretty. She's got a big wing for her eyeliner and then a purple glittery wing and some pink eyeshadow. And then her lips are a shimmery, magenta and I really do think she's so cute look at that little pose she's like hi I'm Cassie and this is the end of the tweens so you save the best for last anyway then we get down to her outfit and normally I am not into sequins which may be part of why it took me a little while to warm up to Cassie but here it's not horrible and you know why I think I realized it. It's very symmetrical. Sequins tend to be like lump them all on and sew them in here and there and it's just a big mess. But on this outfit, they are in lines. So, so it does not make the outfit look gaudy. It just looks shiny and nice. Plus the sequin color is so perfectly matched to the actual mesh of the outfit. They don't stand out to you and say, oh, they're sequins. Does that make sense? This is, a, this is like one of the first outfits I've ever said, I do not hate sequins. We have a little bit of a crisscross on the top here. So it kind of looks like it's a wrapped dress, but it's not, it's just one solid baby doll dress. We have a tool waistband sewn in. It does go all the way around. And then of course the dark purple mesh with the sequins. And then we have tool bell sleeves. One other problem that I'm noticing right away is that everything is unfinished as far as hems. And on the tool, it does feel like they singed the edges, but they did not on the skirt. I can already see a couple of spots where it's gonna start fraying if I play around with it too much. And that is not a good look, MGA. After all these years, we know you can do better. Get it together! If you want to aim all of your lines except for brats at little kids, give them clothes and dolls that are going to last. If we lift up the little baby doll dress. She has some purple jeans and there is a little bit of shimmer in this denim material. See, this is the kind of stuff I expect out of MGA. It's a nice faux denim style material. Oh, I know what this is. It's twill. It's a shimmery lavender twill and the front is cut out and replaced with lace. And I think that's a really pretty look. I would definitely buy a pair of pants like this. Maybe not the whole leg with lace because my legs would get cold, but with like a small, like half the size of this lace. Yeah, I might buy pants like that. So I really like the pants. It's part of what sold me on her in the end. And then we get down to her shoes. So she has these pretty basic strappy heels. There's some gold paint on the little buckle and around the toe area, a little ruffle molded detail on the sides. Not the most exciting shoes that the tweens have ever done because the tweens do tend to have a lot of really interesting shoes, but with the state of things, I guess I can't be surprised. Also, she does have painted fingernails on her non-articulated hands and they're pink. Anyway, so that is Cassie as she comes. 
in the packaging. Here's another little tidbit that I just realized. They got rid of the tween stands. How am I supposed to display her? And yet, they're still $19.99. So they took stuff away, lowered the quality, and kept the price. You do the math. She did, however, come with several different accessories. First of all, she has the little composition book that all the tweens come with. It says Cassie Cool on the front. And then we have her this or that. So she picked purple over pink, beats over lyrics, and new friends and old friends. She comes with some sunglasses. So we have these slim triangular sunglasses with gold studs trimming the lenses got black handles. The lenses are kind of a shiny, shimmery, navy blue. She also comes with a little useless comb. We have her purse, and I feel like this might be a purse that we've seen before with just a different color scheme or pattern on it, but it has a little lock on the front that's painted gold, has a heart. We've got a gold strap, some gold studs around the bottom and the sides. The strap is flexible and it does open. She has this gold chest piece, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this when I put it on her, but it's a combination of a necklace and a belt, I guess. So you've got this big gold statement necklace with beaded chains that go into a belt. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. It's a little too gladiator. She also comes with this little handheld crown, which I guess is kind of like a selfie prop. It has several hearts and some big fake gems, and there is a little place for her to put her hand in. Of course, without the wrist articulation, that's gonna make it more difficult to prop it in the right place for her to actually take a selfie with it. Well. I guess that kind of works. Yeah, okay, I take it back. She comes with this cute little boombox accessory, which I don't think I've seen something like this before with OMG or with the tweens, but maybe one of the dolls that I didn't buy had it, but this is actually really nice. It's got textured plastic here for the speakers. We've got the little painted areas for the buttons and screen, the handle that can be put down and it even opens and there's a little cd inside <laughs> now this is freaky cute does it come out yes you can take the cd out now this is really cute they put all this effort into this little cd player and didn't hem the dress here we have a little cluster of gold bangles just your basic with studs. And of course, because we can't take her hand off, it has to be flexible to be able to open and go on her wrist. And there it is. We'll take a final look at her in a moment. And finally, she has these earrings, which seem a little bit out of place when matched with everything else. They are gold drop earrings with these big magenta gems. And again, they're very pink when she has so much purple in her outfit. So I guess we'll just have to try and see how everything comes together. Okay, I guess they're not so bad. I kind of like them with the sunglasses. And there you have it. We have Miss Cassie Cool, and she definitely is cool, but I'm ditching the chest piece when this video is over. It's not as much of a downgrade to the tweens as the Rainbow High downgrade has been. The lack of wrist articulation limits your posability a lot, and I always had appreciated that they didn't take articulation away when they created the tweens after OMG. So, you know, they had all the same articulation as an OMG doll, just in a smaller scale. Now, we lost a little bit of that. But again, at the same time, their hands are very small and delicate, so that probably makes more sense for the younger demographic they're aiming for. It annoys me that they didn't hem the bottom of the skirt here because again, kid or adult collector, we don't want our clothes to fall apart. And then of course they got rid of the stands. They put a lot of effort into this cute little CD player, but this is not gonna help me stand her up on my shelf. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think of Cassie. Like I said, I have not seen a lot of people talk about this line of tweens, like this series of tweens. I don't know if 
people just didn't know about them or if they didn't care because th this is not the same level of tweens that we've been used to but Cassie definitely I think is the best out of the four and as always thanks so much for watching the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and until next time goodbye